What's going on guys? As you can see, we've got a new video here today and I'm going to be showing you guys another webcam tutorial. So I'm going to go to open up Photoshop, hit file and new. So if I'm a little bit quiet tonight, just I'm recording a video quite late at night and I've just got home from work. So as you guys can tell, I've got like family members asleep. So I'm going to try and be as quiet as possible. Okay, so what you want to do is go up to your width is 1920, height is 1080, resolution 300. Make sure your orientation is on landscape, which is the uh, wider part sideways. And going to go to your RGB color mode, uh, sorry, color mode, stick it as RGB 8-bit. Go to your background contents, make sure, because when you open up Photoshop, sometimes it might be black or white, make sure it's transparent. Hit create. What you're going to do now is you're going to go to your paint bucket tool, and we're going to make the color a nice, probably like a dark blue, maybe something like that. Just so you have the nice clear page there. And what you're going to do now is you're going to use your rulers. If you don't have the rulers on a on a Windows PC, you're going to hit Control and R to bring them on and off. And then what you're going to do is go to your view, go to show, make sure smart guides are ticked because they're going to come in handy because these are your guides. You're going to drag them down until they click into position in the middle just there. And then do the same for your x-axis. Just like that until it snaps into place. <laughs> Okay, you can go create a new layer if you want to. You can just double click there and name that background. And if you right click on it, you can even color code it at the bottom with these colors. So let's pay you put it red so you know which one it is. Go to the new layer. I'm going to go to the rectangular tool. And you're going to make the color black on the, f on the stroke. Make sure the fill is turned off using this little white rectangle with a red cross through it. And then you're going to go to... This is... This is how many pixels your um, the width of your stroke is going to be. So I usually go for about seven or eight. So I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to click in the center as close to it as I can get. I'm going to go to 1920 by 1080. This bit here is just how like rounded you want your edges to be. I don't want them rounded, so I'm just going to leave them on zero. And make sure I tick from center, meaning so that I clicked in the center and it's going to bring the perspective up from the center line and not from the corners. Go to my move tool, hit control and T, and then I'm just going to click and drag from the corner until I get to about there, just one quarter of the page. And I can see that the outlines aren't quite as thick as I actually, no, they're okay. They're okay. We'll be fine. Okay. So I'm going to hit, by the way guys, to bring your guides on and off, you're going to hit control H to turn the guides on and off like so. Create a new layer. You can use the pen tool or I prefer the polygon lasso tool, which is, it should be on your lasso search there. You just right click and go on to polygon. I'm going to scroll in. If you guys want to zoom in without having to like hit the zoom button, um, on your magnifying glass down here in the corner you can literally just hold alt and then use your mouse and like scroll up and down and it should and wherever you have your arrow key on when you do it is where it'll zoom into so if i have it over here it'll zoom as close to there or if i have it in the center it'll get as close as it can to the center like so just get it somewhere where you're comfortable and you can see your workspace and we're going to go down to here i'm going to click i'm going to drop down a little bit about here and this is very important guys to keep it in the center line and not going wonky you're going to hold shift every time and you'll see it only goes diagonally or straight line you know what i mean whereas if i just take it off it just does that and you can go anywhere but if you hold control it brings it up nice and smooth click on the line just there <laughs> sorry guys i do have a little bit of hay fever click come down Come down, and personally, I like to have this just like that. I'm gonna drag it along to the end, go up, down, back to there, and click there until you get these lines come up. And what this is is it's your free roam marquee tool. So what I'm gonna do is because we've created a new layer, I'm gonna right click, hit fill, click the drop down menu, go to color, take it to black, so it's the same color. Hit OK. 
And then I'm just going to left click and it should take away, or you can hit control D to take away the lines. So if I just hit control D, it'll go away. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete my original rectangle because I already have one of the corners where I want them. Adjust it so that you have the thicker blue lines instead of the light blue on the lines. Just like that, so I know it's nice and proportioned. Hit Control and J to copy. Hit Control T to select. Edit. Transform. Flip horizontally. And I'm going to click, hold down Shift, and drag across so it moves now nice and straight. Just like so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on my top layer, hold Shift, click the layer below, right click, merge the layers. So that's just one big layer now. And again, I'm going to hit Control J to and then Control T to bring up the properties, edit, transform. This time I'm going to flip vertical just so I can drag it down. So that's the new shape. Again, click one layer, hold shift, click the next layer, right click, merge. And if you want, you can just call that webcam base or whatever you want. You can even color code it if you want to, just put green or something. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the original background layer and I'm going to hit control and J to copy it. And I'm going to click and drag down to about there and just bring it up using your arrow keys just so you have it inside the actual original rectangle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control and U to bring up the hue and saturation. And I'm just going to drop the color down just so we get a nice bit of background. So you can clearly see there's a bit of a background there. We don't want it too dark because if you put it too dark, then you can't see the original shape anymore. Too light and it, you know, it's handy to have it light. You can probably have it about there. That's probably good. Don't worry if it's out of shape. Just use your arrow keys to adjust it. But make sure you'll have the move tool down because you have any other tool down, you try using your arrow keys to move the layer, it won't move. So make sure you have the move tool selected. Just like so. Okay. What I'm going to do now is go up to my properties on my webcam base and I'm going to put an inner glow on. I'm going to have an overlay on 100%. Drop the size down to around about three, pixel, three pixels. Make sure the source is on the edge and it's softer so it's not quite in your face. And if you want, you can even move the... Um, could even move it to cone setting on the contour just means it's going to be even distributed on both sides which is that's, that's the way i like to have it go to the drop shadow menu now you'll see that don't worry if this happens it's completely fine turn the opacity up to 100 it looks even worse bring the spread down to about zero drop the size to about four and then put the distance on three now you can drop the opacity a bit, maybe to about 85. Somewhere around there is good. Because we're going to create a new layer. Right click and create clipping mask. And what this does is, if I go to my paintbrush tool and I use a red. Oh, by the way, if you want to adjust your brushes, so like you can get like a thinner brush. If you want just a circular brush, just click and drag these out all the way. Then you'll have a circular brush. Or you can click like that and turn where it's based from so like yeah so if you have like let's say that this you see what I mean it all changes again if you want to click it back to be at a certain angle hold shift as you twist it and it'll twist every 45 degrees and then back out okay so what we're going to do here like I say anything that you click now is from the webcam layer itself because you've clipping mask it. Hit control Z to get rid of anything you've just done. What we're going to do here is we're going to create a gradient and I'm going to use let's see now I'm going to use probably a grey I think. That works out for me. Well, this is important. Go to your selections here for your gradient and you're going to click on radial which is this one here with the circle in the middle 
I'm going to click from the center. I'm going to shift, hold shift and drag out to almost the end, just like so. What that does, you'll see here there's a bit more light gray in the middle, which is perfect. That's fine. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to create a new layer, right click, clip and mask it. And I'm going to go to click this, go up to like a little bit of a lighter gray, about there. I'll hold this down if you guys want to copy this number. 4B, 4B, 4B. So it's nice and easy to remember. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make my brush tool. If you want to make your brush tool bigger or smaller, use the square brackets right beside your enter button. And just click right or left. Right makes it bigger, left makes it smaller. I'm going to go to part here and I'm going to click a couple times just like that so it brings up a nice grey edge. Do similar distance here if I can. About that. See what I mean? And then what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to come down here, right click, and I'm going to drag this down just a bit, just to make the brush a little bit more on the rounder side, make it a little bit bigger, and then come a little bit closer, click a few more times, do the same up the top, just come closer, create a little bit more of a nice feel to it. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to Click, hold shift and twist this up like so. I'm going to make it smaller. I'm just going to click. Just to add a bit of a highlight to it, as you guys can see. Little clicks all the way along. Just so it adds a little bit more colour to it, you know what I mean? Same thing here, just a little bit more. to add some more highlights. We'll do the same in the bottom side. Okay, go up to about here. Like so. Just keep clicking until you get as much light in there as you want. And then when you come up to here, same sort of thing. And if you want to, you can then click on the arrow Drag it back to where it was. Oh, excuse me. Hold shift to bring it back around. Click on one of the small icons and drag it back out. And you can just click in the corner there like that. Like so. Now, this is important. Go to the background copy layer, which is going to be this this bit here. And I'll quickly just drag that back in. Now, this is important because what I'm going to do here is going to change everything. I'm going to hit Control U, and now I'm going to drop the lightness down until the black. Just like that. So you can see the parts that have been shaded in. So there's a bit more vision. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back to that layer. I'm going to click a new layer on top, right click and clip and mask it. And now what I'm going to do is go back to my paintbrush tool. I'm going to actually drag this down like so, not by about there, I'd say, something like that. And I'm going to make the brush size a lot bigger. And then I'm going to have it somewhere. Bottom of my circle is just about touching the webcam, just like so. And I'm going to just... Do the same on the other side and just have it just so it brings a nice cinematic background as you guys can see. Go to the opacity, drop it a little bit, probably to about 76. Drop the fill down a little bit to about 75 as well again. And then look what you have here. Looks a lot looks a lot cleaner. We have a nice setting. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a new layer just below. Excuse me, I've got very bad hay fever today. <laughs> I'm going to, again, use your Alt and scroll to zoom in. I'm going to use my Polygon Lasso tool on a new layer. Click, hold Shift and drag up diagonally. Then make sure you hold down Shift all the way across so it stays so it stays in proportion. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to 
right click on my gradient tool, select the paint bucket tool. I'm going to select a, I'll tell you this, I'm going to go for a blue. I'm going to go for something like this. I'm going to do is just bring it along like so, use my arrow keys. And then what I'm going to do here is this little small portion on the top. I'm just going to take that off because I'm going to use my rectangular marquee tool, which you'll find up here. And just drag it over until it goes over the first top part, which is going to be the blurry part. I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard, control and D to deselect. And I'm going to hit control J, which is going to duplicate the layer. Go to my move tool, then just drag along use my arrow key to probably about there's good and then again I'm going to hit control J again drag it out to about the same length doesn't matter if it's not perfect do you know what I mean it doesn't have to be perfect straight away and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group these layers by hitting con I'm going to do the same thing what we did was click click on one and actually hold on I'll, I'll delete the group so you can see what I mean uh, group only so hit one hold shift click one click the other holding down shift all times control and g to group you can double click and name the group just put like blue uh rectangles and again if you want to color code it just put it as blue and then what you're going to do from there is you're going to click double click hit outer glow and you're going to put probably about Say about 18, maybe 24. 24 is good. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to put a soft light on that. And I'm going to change the color to light blue. Change the colors. What I've done there, what I didn't just show you guys was if you go back to it, change the mode, the blending mode to hard light, put the opacity on 45%. We'll stay at about 18 pixels for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into this group by just clicking the downwards arrow. I'm going to go to the first layer, which is this one further out. And I'm going to actually change the. Actually, I thought I can just do Control and U. Because that's just going to bring the colour up like so. I'm going to bring it up by about to about 30. How far does this go up? So I'll go about. I'll go to 100. This next one, Control U again. I'll go up to about 40, like that. And then that's us done for there. Now, what we can do now is. We'll just go to that, control J, transform it, flip it horizontally, and then we're just going to drag it along just like so. Similar distance, don't worry if it's not perfect. Hit the tick to deselect. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to, same sort of thing, we're going to hit one, press shift, click the other, control T. And we're going to bring up our guidelines again using Control H. And as you can see, because that line is bang smack in the middle, it means these are evenly distributed like so. Which is perfect, that's what we wanted. That's it guys, I'm sorry that the audio quality isn't very good on this. Um, it's late at night, I've just come back from work, I've been at work for like 12 hours. So the quality is not going to be wonderful, plus everyone's asleep, so I'm trying to do this as best I can. Hit Control J when you group the those two layers together. Uh, hit Control T. And what you're going to do is because you go into the other side, you're going to transform it, and then you're going to flip it vertically. And you're going to click, hold Shift, drag down. And there, just click this tick button. Zoom in using your keys, and we can see that that's a little bit too low. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to click this Move button, and we're going to use our upwards arrows on the keyboard until they slot into place, just like so. Which is pretty cool. I like that so far. It's a nice touch because even if you put the background, if you hit Control U and you're gonna drop the background down like so, maybe to something like something like that, you'll see the blues stand out a little bit more, which is nice. 
like that. But I'm gonna go back just so I can have a look. So what I'm gonna do now is you can again just hit uh, Shift, click those two to go. Or you can, if you click one, hit Control, click the other layer, Control G to group it. Double click it and just put blue. Ooh, excuse me, I can't even type blue particles. Again, color code it blue. It, I've put green for goodness sake. There's blue. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is click on these three layers. Just click one, hit control, click all three, control G to group it, and we're going to call that webcam. I'll just highlight that yellow so we have it. Again, click on control layer three, hit uh, control, click the background, control G to group it. And I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click, I'm going to merge group. Just so it's one big, one big uh, layer. And I'm just going to name it delete after. And I'll come back to this. Why we do this? Control that green. So they're all color coded. They're all labeled nice and perfectly. <laughs> Create a new layer. And what we're going to do is scroll in to here in the corner. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit. Uh, excuse me. Um, Gonna go to my polygon lasso tool, click, drag up like so, drag down. Make sure you hold shift as you're dragging down and up so it's level. That should be nice and level, just like so. Okay, now this is where it gets fun because what we're gonna do now is go back to the move tool. We're going to move it to the right just so it's offset like that. And then what we're going to do is we are going to just click it up so it's in the position there in the middle, which is perfect. And I'm going to take it to the right a little bit. That's better, actually. We'll just leave that there. Now, this is where it gets kind of cool because we're going to new layer, right click, control clip and mask. I'm going to use a gradient because what we're going to do is this side here, we're going to use this tool here, color sorry, and the one after we're going to use that, but we're going to go a lot darker, just a darker color. Again, make sure your gradient tool you have the radial selected, which is the second option, and you're going to click from somewhere around here, which is close to the center, hold shift, <coughs> <coughs> and drag up, excuse me. Actually, hold on a second. I'm just going to go to that and I'm going to go to. <sighs> oh. Uh, one second a minute. I think I've put these the wrong side, have I? One second, guys. That's better. Except the colours the colour's wrong. Which is okay. I can live with that. That's better. So you're just gonna put your darker color to the right and your lighter color to the left. Click somewhere about here in the middle. Click, hold shift, drag up. Just gonna give it a nice little twang, just like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that, click that, click this layer. Hit control, click the next layer. Right click, merge layer. Hit control J, control T. Which is gonna, excuse me, copy it. Again, just now click on it. Oh, excuse me. Hold shift, drag down. And if you guys can't see this properly, delete the delete after one. And just go back to your move tool, use your arrow keys just to drop it down into place. 
like so, which is perfect. We like that. That's good. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to click Control, click the next one, Control G to name it, and we're going to put blue centers. Hit Control J to copy, Control T to select, edit, transform, flip horizontal, drag it across, and again, same sort of thing. Just quickly delete the delete the later button so we can see how far it goes in. Just like so. I'm pretty happy with that. So you can see there when you cut them both together, you can see that it's nice and central. We're going to right click merge layers. Let's put that back just for now. Okay, one second there. So that's the main part done. So what we can do now is we can create a name tag, which is what we're going to do. Is so we're going to new layer, polygon lasso, put the guides back on using control H. Click in the middle, go up to about here. Make sure you hold down shift along down to the bottom of the rectangle, just like so. You'll get your lasso tool, make sure your lasso is connected. Right click, hit fill, color from the drop down menu. And just click somewhere in the middle, just there like that, so you've got that, that nice color. And click to deselect, and then go back to your move tool. Click just like that and drag it across using your arrow keys. Control J. Control T to select, edit, transform, flip horizontal. As I guys, if you have any comment, if you have any questions, sorry, just put them in the comment section. I will have a look at them. Um, it's just hard for me to speak at the moment because I one, I've got a bad throat because of hay fever, and two, because it's late at night. Like I said, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> click one, control, click the other, right click, merge them. Just title it base and again click on it we're going to put in a small inner glow like so but what we're going to do is drop the opacity down to about 55 percent maybe that looks good and then again put a drop shadow on and it should still have the same preferences from the last one and again what we're going to do is new layer above clip and mask it go to the Gradient tool. Now this is important. Go to your uh, cancel that. Sorry, that should be black. And then go to the left hand side and just click this color here, just so there's a bit of difference. Again, make sure you're on radial. Click from about the center. Hold shift, drag out. But that hasn't gone far enough, so you want more in the middle. So you're gonna click, drag out even further to about there. Just like so, I might even do a little bit more actually. So we're gonna come from the middle, click, drag out to about there. That's better, I can live with that. So now what we're gonna do is go to the paint bucket tool, new select layer, clip and mask it again. We're gonna put the color as about this, maybe a little bit lighter actually. And then use your, use your square brackets to drop the size down. Again, just put, put it back to normal by just clicking out like so. And just fill in the corners just like so. Just so there's a bit more color about it. If you want to, you can like make the color a bit darker by selecting your black tool and just click and drag while holding shift across there like that so it makes the top of it a bit darker, which is pretty good. And then you can put I don't know, go to your text tool and of course I like Geomgraphic, it's a great uh, font to use so you could just uh, one second, I'll just drop this, I'll click OK drop the size down a little bit for you go to your selection tool here, mine's underlined which I'll get rid of which I don't want <laughs> So I'll just put Alex Cam, just for an example, because obviously my name's Alex. Uh, one second there. 
And even if you want to, this is a little cool trick you can pick up. If you go to your text tool, it'll automatically bring this up. So you're going to click halfway across, drag and gold, go to your color, and just tap the icon there so it's the same color. Like so. Control T to make sure it's sort of about central, like that, which is nice. So we have the cam, like so. And what you can do now, if you want to, is you can go to your rectangular marquee tool and then just click in the center along the line. What you're going to want to do here, guys, is you're going to want to hold the Alt key and drag out and just drag so far, just about maybe there. And then what you're going to do is use your arrow keys just to drop it down, just hold and it should drag down. If not, just doesn't matter, you can do it afterwards. Go to your marquee tool, right click, hit fill, control color, and you're going to do this. Just click a color from about the corner somewhere, it'll be okay. Because what you're going to want to do here is you're going to name this, uh, no, just put um, notifs. Again, just add an inner glow, a drop shadow. And it should be okay. New layer, right click it, clip and mask it. Um, what you can do, if you want to, is you can, let's just save for a second. I'll just go to my pen tool, put it on white. I'm just gonna hit like newest follower. And what I'm going to do is just drag that along, hit OK, uh, drop that down a sec, just into there like that. One second guys, I'm just quickly uh, rubbing right my face. What you're going to do is right click again and you got to, sorry, excuse me, right click again. And where's the clipping mask? Where's the clipping mask? You pain in the backside. Okay, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this layer. Don't clip and mask the text. Just click a new layer. Type it out. Newest follower. Click and drag from the corner, just down like so. So what I like to do is I like to put the sides opposite. So I'll put that as this color in the middle. And I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna insert a level bevel emboss. The depth is gonna be a thousand size is going to be just two just like that make sure you have all these settings the same you're going to inner bevel chisel hard uh use 90 degrees use global light ticked put the glass stature just as that like half and half highlight mode overlay 100 percent uh, opacity shadow mode multiply zero percent opacity and you can just hit okay so you've got that now hit control t just to bring the size down again Drop this down to about there, maybe. That looks good. Until you come up there. And that purple line just shows you that you're level with the middle of what you've got. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... This is the fun part. I'm going to go to a marquee tool. I'm going to click from just sort of here. And just use that as a little guide to about maybe... There. Marquee tool, right click, hit fill, color. Now, I'm going to go for a slightly lighter gray, maybe something like that, just so it stands out, which is perfect. I can live with that. Drag it along to about. That looks good, actually. That looks good. Click, and you're going to click the top button there, hold shift, drop it down a bit. And bring it up until it snaps into place in the middle, which is about there. 
you can even use your arrow keys when you click the newest follower icon when it's on the move setting just to move it across a bit just like that what I'm going to do now is go back to this original layer I'm going to click Control U to drop the lightness down a bit that's fine and then I'm going to click in a shadow, put the opacity on 100% bring up the choke just like that just until it's nice and and just copy these settings and those are your settings just copy those down so you've got distance is 3 make sure the modes are multiply, choke is 49% size 34, no noise and then click OK and even if you wanted to guys you could go back onto the notice which is like the actual big bar this thing go to a layer above it, right click, clip and mask it go back to the tool and what you're going to do now is you're going to click and drag this down holding shift just like that and then if you go under here make it push a little bit bigger and just add a little bit of light, one up top, one below. Actually, no, up top doesn't look best. We'll just leave it at the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this is the cool part because now what you have actually, do you know what we'll do? This will be fun. We'll go back onto that layer we're just using and then we'll just highlight the text as well, just like that. So you see, there's a nice little touch to it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the newest follower icon and we're going to click on the new layer which we made and we're going to just control J to copy them, hit control T to bring them up and then click and drag them along just until they're about maybe there. And if just to make it match up you can just use your arrow keys, that's what I was looking for. Just like that and then what you're going to do is you're going to go back onto your text and you're going to go to just change the text to new subscriber just like that just so it's a nice change and then if you want to you can name this um platform oh. And just put the same thing, just platform. So what we want to do is we wanna, we're just going to bring this up above, click and drag it, and then we're going to just click one, control click the other, right click, merge them. And then go back to your notifs with the little um, clipping mask. Control J, don't worry, you'll be able to see everything for a second. Right click, create clipping mask again. Control T and just drag it along until it sort of matches the other part of which you've done, which is probably about there. Just like that. So now you've got your base cam web lamp overlay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, okay, click from your top layer and then hit control uh, sorry hit shift and click click on your webcam layer just like that control G to merge it all that's going to be your webcam what you're gonna do is you're gonna click that and you're gonna control click your delete after and you're gonna hit can uh, so you're gonna hit control T and you're gonna just click and drag it up until the whole thing's in the middle of the screen like so doesn't have to be perfect, don't worry about it. And then what we can do here is the delete after we can just hit this eye icon which will take it off the see uh, the take off the visibility. Same thing with the background, just take it off. And now you should notice we have should have this screen. Don't worry, that's the screen you want. Because we're now gonna to export it, we go to file export save for web legacy now this bit is important guys because if you don't save it properly you won't be able to use it on obs or any other recording platform you use so you're going to go to this menu at the top here on this drop down menu you would have jpeg 
go to PNG 8. Excuse me, PNG 24. It's just so you'll have a transparent background. So basically meaning that you're going to have the ability to actually use the webcam on a transparent screen. Okay, so make sure you everything's correct. You're on 1920 by 1080. Make sure you're on, you can use monitor color, meaning that the internet will monitor the colors for you. Use a standard RGB that they use for internet, which is no color management. Or use Legacy Macintosh. Now, personally, I use uh, Legacy Macintosh. doesn't really matter too much. There's no matte because you're using a transparent thing, and matte is obviously like a matte color. Go to Save, and then let's just say you go to f uh, Pictures, Camera Roll, and just you could just title it New Webcam. Hit Enter, and then it'll save for you. Now, guys, I hope you've got a lot from this. I'm sorry if I've rambled on and I haven't edited it once again. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, and I am sorry the fact that we haven't been able to um, have a good quality setup because I've just been trying to do things as quietly and as carefully as possible while you know while having a very bad throat. So I do apologise. Um, I will upload more, and if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. I'd love to interact with you guys, and any tips and tricks you guys could show me would be helpful as well as well as the other way around. I um, hope you guys really did enjoy. Have a nice day and take care. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. It really does help and I will upload some more for you. Okay, thank you guys. Take care and peace guys.